What's up guys? So I thought today I would finally do a review. So this is a Chinese pit bike. It's a 2017 Coolster and it's the 214 FC model. And uh, it's a 125cc. It's four speed manual with clutch. And um, it's really hard to find the proper information for this bike. So I looked on so many websites, a lot of YouTube videos, um, and the the place I found that gave the most, uh, like the best information was Killer Motorsports, uh, a video that they had made on YouTube, but it was from 2011, so it's like six years old. So the bike's different. Uh, that bike had features this bike doesn't have, but this bike also has some features that that bike had that uh, it retained throughout all the years. Um, I've also done upgrades to this, so this isn't gonna look exactly like the stock one. So first I'm gonna walk you through the upgrades that already come stock on the bike. Now when I say upgrades, um, I call these upgrades because there's different models of this, the Coolster 125cc dirt bike. Uh, they have one that Killer Motorsports called the Mad Max. And other websites, uh, they just call it the just the Coolster 125. So the difference is uh, the regular one has a, a frame that runs through the middle. But this one has a perimeter frame that is actually on both sides. So it's really heavy duty, extremely strong. Uh, it's one of the main reasons I bought it is that perimeter frame. Uh, one of the other things it comes with is... You get a skid plate. This is a really good skid plate. It attaches on multiple places. And leaves the hole so you can change your oil over there. You just remove this screw. Super easy to do. I've changed my own oil a few times already on it. Uh, it comes with the upgraded carburetor. If you go on the Coolster website, go to spare parts for this bike, the 214 FC. Uh, you'll see that there's two different ones. One that has a silver lever and this one that has the black lever. So this one, this hole, and this hole are bigger than on the other one. Um, it's a dollar more expensive on the website, so I know it's better. Even though a dollar's not a lot. Um, also comes with wavy disc rotors. You get more stopping power with these with your hydraulic disc brakes, which have a steel braided cable. Steel braided cable is really good. Um, it makes it more durable. It won't tear. It won't rip. You also get long travel front fork. Look at how much suspension you get. You know, that's, that's a few inches right there. I don't know exactly, but that looks like maybe 160 millimeters. You also get these black rims with these freaking awesome tires. So I've been riding these for a month now and I don't have a lot of rounding on the edges on these knobs. You could see some of the side ones still even have those those little things, I forget what they're called, but they eventually break off those things. And the rear tire I mean these side knobs go all the way to the sidewall so you get really good turning power and uh, they're wearing down a little faster than I'd like but still no rounding you know they still look sharp also get that steel braided cable on the back for the brake line and it the hydraulic brakes come with a viewing window so you know how much hydraulic disc fluid you have left. Uh, the plastics are KLX 110 plastics, so they're interchangeable. And the seat's pretty comfortable, it's a good seat, I like it. So, I don't have these plastics on here, um, they went somewhere here on the side. I uh, broke both of them, one trying to pick up the bike, and this one on this side, uh, 
when I would go to kickstart it, it would, when it would uh, come back up, it would like, I'm not sure what it was doing, but it was doing something weird, and it would actually uh, hit the plastic. When it came, it would go down and it would swing back up and it hit the plastic and it eventually broke it. Um, I think it looks better without the plastics, those two back ones. And I've never burned myself on the muffler, so I don't really need to cover it. And um, that muffler there, they sent me that as a warranty. Um, I asked for it to replace this one. So they're not. It's not a huge difference, um, but they're definitely different, as I will show you now. All right, so these are the two. So this one has a little angle, and this piece here was actually fitted inside. So... I'm guessing that's for the California things. Oh, they're shooting. Going for a black bear. I got some friends that they hunt on the National Forest out here. Uh, the National Forest is right there on the other side of us. So this one here didn't come with that black thing inside. I don't know if you can see. Instead it comes with a screen and it's it's all hollow on the inside. Um, it sounds better and it, it seems like it performs better. And let's see, here's that front plate. Uh, I didn't put that on. I think it looks great without it. Didn't see a need to put that on. And these are the handlebars it came with. So. So these bars here. They um, they come back slightly a little bit towards the driver. As you can see. And they don't. They don't rise up very high. If you see from. Uh, from the bottom point where they connect up to the top where you're holding. So the ones that I got, these new ones, I can put it there. You see the difference? Is they go up higher, and they're slightly a little shorter. Um, but they do go up higher, and they curve back just a little more. So I have better reach now when I'm standing up, and uh, that helps a lot. If you're wondering about all this, this is a $10 light off eBay. It comes with a battery pack. It's supposed to be like 15,000 lumens. And it works really well. Um, this is a tail light with a left and right uh, turn signal indicator. And it also has a brake light, supposedly, which I haven't been able to test out. And it also does uh, bicycle lanes, like LED laser bicycle lanes. That was also 10 bucks. So I just strapped that over here. And then last thing is the shock. This shock it comes with is absolute 100% shit. It's like a pogo stick. It's super hard to compress, so you have to hit a pretty decent sized bump, and then it just shoots you right back up super quickly. I can't do that. So, because I'm mountain bike, I know what good suspension is. So I bought this. This is a fast ace, and it comes with a reservoir. As you can see, though, the reservoir appears to be going through that piece of metal and the plastic fender. Normally, it wouldn't fit, but I have an awesome neighbor, the one who was just shooting that gun. And you see the black metal there, how we cut it here and here? And we made space for it. And, oh, we had a bolt there. I guess it fell out from the vibrations. Well, the fender still holds on really well because there's two other bolts here and here. So, and I, I cracked it a little. 
so it's going to move anyways. Uh, not a huge concern. I don't think that adds too much stability to the frame, is this little piece, so I don't think we compromise the integrity of it. Uh, we then cut the plastic fender just a bit too. And this thing is incredible. Uh, just the preload here, so if I move these higher up or down on those threads, it makes it uh, either stiffer, so it's harder, or it's uh, uh, softer, and it's looser. Then here is, this is called a piggyback. It's a reservoir, and it holds air. So I could put air in here. I have a pump, which I already had for my mountain biking. I didn't bring it with me. So you screw the little pump into there. It's just like a tire pump, but it's a different valve. And then you could put air into it or take air out. And that does pretty much the same thing the preload does without actually preloading it. So it'll make it stiffer or firmer, but just in general. Then the most important reason why I got it is your rebound, fast or slow. Turn to the right. It comes back up faster turn to the left so once it compresses and it goes down and the spring gets pushed down that faster slow controls how faster slow it comes back up so i don't have a tripod or anything so i can't show you but if i move it all the way to the right to slow it it'll take a few seconds to get back up to the top if i put it all the way to the left it's like uh, one sixteenth of a second it'll get all the way back up to the top um, so that's amazing to be able to control that that's completely changed the bike night and day and i highly recommend that everybody just if you don't know how to do this find someone who does and just cut that out and that shock was 130 dollars you could find it on ebay highly suggested uh, last thing is the motorcycle helmet I wear. It's a full face. And I've got a Sony mic. If you just go on eBay, type in Sony mic. It's I think it's called a conden condenser mic. And it's got the, the speaker on both sides. And then I've just got the wires all tucked up in there. I don't use a case. And I just Velcroed this on there. And then I've got some... Uh, it's like for your side mirrors in your car. It comes with these sticky pads. So I got that on there. And it seems to hold it pretty well. So all my stuff's a little rigged. But, you know, I find ways to make it work. And I love this bike, man. I, I highly recommend it. I think everyone should have one for $685 shipped. It's incredible. I got mine at KillerMotorsports.com. And... Um, shit. I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, just ask in the comments and keep riding. Have fun.